Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, September 4th, 2017, and this is your fun fact of the day. Odds are pretty high that you, as a person right now, has some clothes lying around that you really just don't need anymore. I'm not one to fully abandon sentimentality. Believe me, I'm not anti-sentimental. But there are several criteria that you can follow to help purge yourself of some of these clothes that are literally just taking up space. Today we'll help you figure out whether to keep it, donate it, or trash it. How to unruin your closet and how to adult Mondays. If something doesn't fit, and hasn't for a while, and will not easily fit again anytime soon, this should really be your first clue that you might want to let it go. If you're not attached to it or it doesn't look that good on you, all the more so. If it doesn't fit, you don't wear it, you're not crazily attached to it, and it's not underwear, feel free to donate it. Let somebody else have a use for that clothing. If something doesn't fit, and it's broken, or it's torn, or it's dirty, and you have not a hundred million percent intention of fixing it so you can someday possibly fit into it again, why are you keeping it? Why haven't you fixed it yet? If it isn't important enough to fix immediately, consider letting it go. Now let's clothes that don't fit, that you don't wear. What about something that does you do wear? Something that does fit? If it's something you wear often enough, every few days, every few months, then you can likely hang it back up, or fold it back up, put it in your dresser. It's also helpful to remember if the item is seasonal at all. You get those people who try to throw the criteria, if you haven't worn this in a month, then why are you keeping it? Because I don't wear snow gloves in July. No one does, at least not in the Northern Hemisphere. How's that winter been treating you in the South? Like if you don't wear pants except for in the dead of winter, then you don't need to worry about tossing them right now simply because it's not pants season. So the, the how often you wear it is a loose criteria. Take into account the practicality of what article of clothing is in question. Same may go for a suit, or a fancy dress, or just other professional clothings. Sure, you might not wear them all the time. Not everybody wears a suit and tie to the office for their job every day, or five days a week. This doesn't mean you have no reason to wear a suit. I have several things that could be compiled into suits. I have several pieces that can make a, a total suit. I go to weddings, but I don't wear a suit very often, so I keep them. As long as it's not absurdly outside of your size range, the size clothing you wear, probably keep it. Sentimentality also has a small role to play in this process. Sentimentality is significantly anti-practical many times, so you want to keep this in mind as you examine many of your clothings. If you wore it at your wedding, or it's extremely expensive, or if you've worn it at least once in the last year, and if, especially if it's sentimental, then you can consider holding on to it. Just find a permanent home for it. Some place that's not always got to take it out of the dresser, pack it up when you move, and then put it back in the dresser, even though you know it's going in the bottom and you're not actually going to wear it. And then, yeah, if you actually are a person who moves around a lot, consider how many times you've packed and unpacked these clothings without wearing them. You're just moving clothing around that you don't actually use. Could probably get rid of it, and you won't be any worse off for it. In other news, today is National Wildlife Day. Yay, wildlife! And National Labor Day. When I was growing up, I used to think this actually meant pregnant women sort of labor. I didn't know it was really like work labor. I didn't really grasp it at that point. Either way, happy holiday for those who get it off. Hope you've enjoyed this fun fact of the day. See you tomorrow.